Hi guys, I am Isa. Today, what has some? What to get how to make like sticky notes in HTML and CSS and JavaScript? So um, basically, I'm just gonna make a div with the class of um, note. I'm gonna say p text. Okay, so now let me just run the HTML file. It's gonna copy pass and paste it here. Now that will just have something that says text be boring. So I'm gonna link to CSS. Let's link CSS. So now I'm gonna go to my style.css. I'm gonna say dot note. Background yellow. Then change it to you know, like a lighter yellow. Right now it has that background. Width. 250px and height 250px well actually they're kind of too big it's going to change up to 200px uh, yeah, that's good enough and I'm going to add the top place so uh I'll try that note after Okay, with 100px, that's 100px, background, yellow, yellow there. Oh, that didn't work. So um instead I'm just gonna you know like uh add a divot side of this dot note you know this dot's like header I guess so, so I'm just gonna say dot note dot header oh okay actually actually the header is gonna be the note's title the side is gonna be a p sex stuff uh. Note one content. Uh, that says note one content. Then say dot note dot header. Uh, background yellow. So that's you know yellow and stuff. So um, that's cool. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change this from P to span. Uh, you know because because why not? There's now it's like that. So I'm gonna say padding 10px. Is that a bit too much? Yeah, that's a bit too much. So padding 5px instead. Wait, that's that's good enough. Um, I just uh, I don't know. Can just just this color, I guess. So I'm gonna just change it to a. I'm just gonna change it to that yellow that I was before. Actually, I might just change it to an even lighter yellow. Wait, that's good enough. Cursor, drag. Oh, there is no cursor, drag. Cursor. cursor, grab. If you put a mouse on the header, it looks like you can grab it. it won't, but, you, but you can't really grab it. So I'm going to say user select none. No, you can't. I can't select any of the text because you're not supposed to. So I'm just gonna say, you know, dot notes. Uh, what? Dot notes. Dot notes. Bad. I'm gonna say margin 10px. Cool. Okay, uh. No, 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 that's not the way. Um, I think this one's more than 10px. Oh, well, that didn't work. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Basically, it's gonna have a pattern of 10px. Okay, so now we have that. So, uh, no, time to just. You know what? Uh, change the font family. Just gonna 
font family. I don't know, I'm just gonna try a font family. So now, see how the font has changed. Alright. Uh, content. I would just say content, 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 but whatever. You can see that well, uh, it's not quite doing what we expected. Eh? It's not quite doing. It. Press enter. You can press enter, but well, by the pressing enter, it's gonna, you know, um, it's gonna say dot note spam user select. Wait, no, not user select. Let's spam. Uh, uh, overflow. Scroll. Oh, I know that scroll. Visible. Visible. Yeah. And whatever, that's good enough. Cons. Great, so now we just now we have our notes in our contents. So now let's you know uh, add some input because what I don't so I'm gonna say form action but uh, we don't really need any actions. <laughs> so let's say dot form I want white blue padding ten px Okay, so we don't see anything because there's nothing in the form. I'm just gonna see text to white sensor, because why not? So we're gonna add an input. What's the type of text? Text. Its so ID is gonna be N name, which means notes name. It's so not gonna be another input type text. Its so ID will be N cont, which means N content. So now we have these two um, things. Let me just see this form dot dot form. So now it looks kind of better. So I'm just gonna add a margin of like 30 px. So now, so now it looks like that. So, uh, like, yeah. So, I'm just gonna add, you know, some place. Wait, before that, let me start the input. I'm gonna say for input. So, uh, border radius 100 V backs. So now they look, you know, like that. Border 2px solid black. Well, actually, not black, uh, gray. Okay, let's just make the gray lighter. There, yeah, that's better. Oh, yeah, this is gonna say outline not to remove that we blue outline. There's just no blue outline. Keep. It's not gonna say padding 10px. So now we have a bigger padding. So now our, our, our ciggies are dead. Uh, let's also just try to take a width 50%. Well, that uh, which obviously didn't work as expected. That's fun. Because it was 40%, which uh, does work, so uh, that's kind of cool. So, here, I'm going to say placeholder name. And here, I'm going to say placeholder note. I'm going to say input submit. So now you can see that it disrupts everything, so it's going to change it to a body instead. ID is equal to um, submit. Okay, so uh, let's say create. So now the button is there. It's going to change it to form button and remove the width for the PX. So now we have a button. Which says nothing better. You go to page. Alright, so that was basically it's hard for JavaScript. So I got the link my JavaScript file. Okay. Great, 
Okay, so that was a vlog with John's good friend. I'm gonna go inside my John. Oh, wait, what? This dot links. The dot JS. So I'm gonna go inside of my John's good file. And so I'm gonna say, um. What? Name is equal to document star guess how much by ID and name. Say so that content is equal to document dot get element by ID. Get element by ID and cont what button is equal to document dot get element by ID submit. Wait, okay, so I'm gonna say what? Oh, well, uh, button dot add event listener click. It's gonna be a function. So, um, the function is gonna say con is equal to content dot well, um, uh, in the text, I guess, and name. Z is also is equal to name. Oh yeah, well, I can't name it name. So I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it underscore name. Because name dot in our text. Let me just uh inspect. Go to the console. Okay, so now if I set the name to I don't know something, in the content to just gonna say content. Gonna press create. Uh, it does nothing because well. Because it's in the form, I'm just gonna say div class form. So I'm gonna change this to I'm gonna change every instance of form to dot form. Wait, so now if I write, uh, I don't know, just I don't know, I know, I'm just gonna write something. Create. Uh, that doesn't get out. I'm gonna say console dot log cont name. It's gonna log the both the content and name. The create. It's gonna say. Well, uh, I had to explain that. Cont underscore name. Create. Let's have this string. Uh, so um. Gonna say. Or dot value if I reload it let's create shows us the values so um like yeah now we have to make it create a sticky note so uh, as you could see first we have to make a difference the class of notes so let's say what note so Let's note is equal to document dot create element div notes dot class name is equal to well obviously note. I'm gonna say document dot body dot append child notes. So if I create another note gets added. Okay. So now uh, where's the dot note? I'm just gonna say, you know to the dot note. I'm gonna see uh, Morgan ten PX. So now if I create it again. No, there's just there's actual margin. So um, that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna save that. Um, so we need a uh, next we need a, a header. So you know what? Header is equal to document dot create element div header dot class name is equal to header. Notes dot append child header there's a header well but it looks looks like that because there's nothing in the header 
So what's this Tito adds up? This is a header. What header T, which means header tag SQL document dot create element span. And well, uh, so there's nothing, there's nothing so special about the span. It's gonna header dot with header child header T. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say header T dot inner text is equal to well obviously the underscore name. Okay. So now if I create it says it's at you, like how it says in here. Say title just gonna Oh well, yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, so now basically we have to add the actual content. So it's just a span. What is so special about it? Well, content equal document dot create element span content dot inner text equal to underscore cont. Then we say notes dot append child content start by Chris create uh, let me just check the log okay so um so the name of underscore content instead Wait, now I can finally create. So you just do cont and I don't know if I can actually create notes if I think the title to uh, sort of title and the content to C. So I'm just gonna do it. So um basically that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. So bye.